undaunted drivers and passengers in 30 or so veteran cars assembled at the Royal Palace in Stockholm for this winter's Stockholm to Gothenburg veteran car rally. The rally was first held in 1906. It continued as an annual event until 1930, when for some reason it was discontinued. These shots are from the 1912 rally. They were made from originals in the Scania film archives. A Scania 1917 passenger car with Frederick Heiwinkel at the wheel took part in the first stage to Serratelia. The official starter for the first stage, running from Stockholm to Scania in Serratelia, was His Royal Highness Prince Bertil, one of Sweden's most popular celebrities in the field of motor racing. On arrival at Serratelia, the competitors were given lunch. Sweden's National Association of Motoring History marked its 18th anniversary by holding the rally. The association says it's going to hold commemorative rallies in 1996 and again in 2006. Scania first set up operations in Holland 40 years ago when Beers Zunen began importing vehicles from Sweden. Over the years, his company secured a very valuable share of the local market for Scania. Today, Beers operates 35 facilities in Holland and employs 800 people taking care of Scania sales, service and parts. No Scania owner in the Netherlands is more than 30 minutes away by road from the Scania outlet. Scania opened its first factory in Holland in 1965 in the town of Zwolle in the eastern part of the country. Here and in neighboring Meppel, trucks are assembled for delivery to Beers Zunen or for export. Scania Nederland has 1,100 employees and an annual output of 7,500 vehicles. 20% are sold on the domestic Dutch market. The manufacturing plants in Holland are no exception to the high standard of quality and strict quality control associated with Scania. Forty years of Scania presence in Holland were commemorated at the RAI International Exhibition in Amsterdam. Sten Gustafsson, chairman of the board of directors of Saab Scania, congratulated Ad Beers, head of Beard Sonnen, for 40 years of success and 40 more to come. Join a winning team, help build trucks at Scania. This was the theme of the campaign recently mounted by the personnel department at Scania on the domestic labor market in Sweden. The campaign was aimed at promoting Scania as a reliable employer with job security and to attract young people to the company. Younger Scania employees and Rolf Björk, the Swedish rally driver, are members of the Scania recruiting team. They organize special exhibitions at motor shows and motor racing events. The first part of the campaign was premiered at the Custom Motor Show of Easter. The show was organized by a Swedish motoring publication and featured a huge display of customized cars, vans and motorbikes. The Custom Motor Show was visited by 53,000 spectators, most of them under 25. Young people are an important target for Scania recruitment campaigns. In the coming year, the mobile Scania show will be seen at several places in Sweden. The idea is to build a balanced labor force for the years to come. The public service vehicle operator in the city of Gothenburg on Sweden's west coast, Göteborg's Sporvega, recently took delivery of 15 Scania CN112 urban transit vehicles. These were the first delivery of a large contract for 30 vehicles 
including two adapted to run on ethanol. The handing over of the keys ceremony took place in Gothenburg. Kurt Palmgren from Scania Busser did the honors with Karl Rick Carlson, head of technical operations at Jöteborg Sporvega. Representatives of the board of Jöteborg Sporvega and members of the staff were also present at the ceremony before the new vehicles were put into service carrying Gothenburgians to work and play.